I remember when I was a little kid, my first day of school was really tough. I worried, will my teacher like me? Will the kid next to me eat his paste? You know, normal stuff. It never occurred to me that it might be tough for new teachers too. Well, the Seattle School District knows that new teachers worry about a lot of things, and they decided to do something about it. So, with help from the teachers union, they came up with the STAR program. And now, first-year teachers get hooked up with a mentor teacher who's been teaching a while. So instead of teaching kids, these mentors help a bunch of new teachers for a whole year. You know, Genevieve, you may find this really hard to believe, but when you're a new teacher and you have to face a whole classroom of people like you, it can be a real... Nightmare? I remember coming to Rainier Beach, I think it was a about September of 1960, and there was a chalkboard, and there was chalk in the trays, and there's a big sign on the board, don't write on this. It was 20 years ago, I first started teaching, and I remember wondering to myself, who's gonna fall asleep? Who's going to cause a disruption? Yeah, it was pretty scary. <laughs> because I didn't know what to do a whole lot. And it would have been nice to have somebody, a wise mentor figure back then. Your purse or wallet. We'll start with group three. Items in your purse or wallet. Address book. Address book. Yeah. What do you have? Alien card. Alien card. Okay. When you're a new teacher in a room like this, no other teacher can help you, because teachers are so isolated. At the start program, they send you a person and say, you know, what are your needs? What are your questions? And then they'll get you answers. Letter W. The first one. Baby foods, group one, what do you have? Watermelon, babies eat watermelon. Yeah. Margot Smolian Capra was my consulting teacher my first year here at Rainier Beach. It was a famous duos and trios. What that mean? I don't know. It means by groups. Groups. She helped me most by watching me. We want them to get support and to be heard and to be helped and nurtured through this year so that they can end up feeling that this is something they not only want to do this year, but next year will be easier. We just had a party all this morning with ninth graders. You know what we did? We, the 10th graders, wrote letters to the ninth graders and gave them advice, you know. How to survive. We, that's ninth right. Grade. <laughs> what do you have, Group 3? Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. That's good. She was a non threatening presence, so I really didn't mind her watching me. You know what I mean? I wasn't nervous. She was very much caring about me. Was I getting enough rest? Was I feeling healthy? Yes, and that's how she takes care of the new teachers, because your first year you can get sick because you work too hard. Good job over there at the Pogo Balls. Very nice. When I first started, I think some of my first fears were, how was I going to handle 32 kids? My biggest fear, too, was, you know, how am I going to handle, you know, discipline? Am I going to be, am I going to be a good teacher? With El Doris, um, the thing that really helps me the most is when we're able to talk after a class, and she's, she's able to be kind of a se second set of eyes for me. I think when you break it down, it's best for the kids because the kids can have success yeah. in small groups, and they don't have to be playing uh, you know, a football game with uh, 30 kids. Can... A lot of time, new teachers don't like to let other teachers in the building know when they are... Um, are less successful in things. They want everybody to think, well, I'm new, I have all these new fresh ideas, and, and I, I just want to be right in the program. So they're afraid to let somebody else know that they may need help. One, two, three. I, I really believe Four, that uh, first time five, teachers, and we all need it. We all need people to seven. support us. You guys deserve to give yourselves three. I, th I think it's with a great deal of pride that the school board presents you with this golden apple. Um, having been a first-year teacher one time in my life, I know what that year is like and how wonderful it is to know that there are going to be people out there and that, that you have been out there to help those first-year teachers. I think it's the best innovation that's come to teaching since the computer. And I am wild about computers.